Man, I hate time travel. It's just so confusing. But, I will say, there is one game that does a great job with time travel. Spider-Man Edge of Time. This is Lucas, the Prince of Darkness. And, a while ago, I did a video review for Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions, which is a great game to play. It has lots of great Spider-Man you can play, has lots of great villains you can fight. It's just a really overall fun game. Now, as for Edge of Time, it kind of, well, cut away from a few of the things that made Shattered Dimensions so good. This time, you can only play as two different versions of Spider-Man, and the villains have been severely reduced. The overall plot for this game is that Spider-Man 2099 has to stop a villain who's going back in time, and really far back in time, to altered history so that he can start an evil company called Alchemax years before it's supposed to start. Well, anyway, as he manages to succeed, Spider-Man 2099 has no choice but to work with Spider-Man, who just so happens to be working at the new Alchemax. So the two Spider-Man basically have to work together. In the process, 2099 also knows that somehow Peter Parker dies, and he, this only adds to the conflict of the overall game. As you play Spider-Man 2099, and you try to save the amazing Spider-Man from whatever here it is that's going to hurt him in the future. But as an added twist, every little thing that the Amazing Spider-Man does in the past affects 2099 in the future. So, it, it has a lot of interesting features. Now, a lot of people have said that this game isn't really good, but for me, it's kind of a guilty pleasure. There's a lot of science put into the game. There's also anti-venom. We get to see a future version of the Black Cat. It has a lot of good stuff to enjoy. I would highly recommend this game to anyone who's a hardcore Spider-Man fan. Or if you like movies about time travel or games about time travel, then all the more you should try picking up a copy of Spider-Man Edge of Time. It's really fun. I highly recommend it. And I'd say you'd be getting your money's worth. Well, anyway, this is Lucas, the Prince of Darkness, and I'm going to go back in time and, and get an extra copy of this game.